Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to the cooking video part of this channel. So, how are you all doing? If you are new to my channel, it's your first time here, a very warm welcome to you. You are welcome to join this video, to join this family, this channel, I'm sorry. So, if you are new and you are watching my video for the first time, please don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Kindly subscribe, give this video a thumbs up if you really like it. So, in today's video, we are going to be cooking vegetable soup. Like I said, this is the cooking video part of this channel. That means we have a lot doing, a lot going on on this channel. So I will be, I will be cooking vegetable soup known as a folio in Nigeria. So that is what we are going to be doing. So let not, without wasting time, let me show you guys to the ingredient. Let me take you to the ingredient I'm going to be using for this recipe. So like I said, Please kindly subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Subscribe to my channel. Leave me some suggestion in the comment in the comment section below. Let me know what your suggestion is. I would like to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for my old subscriber. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Bye. So here are the ingredients that I'm going to be using for this recipe, guys. I have here my smoked fish, smoked mackerel. This fish is homemade. I made it myself, so never mind the look. Here are my meat, cow meat and cow stripes, known as shaki. This is my palm oil that I'll be using. Right here, I have my curry fish, and I'm going to be using frozen spinach as my vegetable. That is the vegetable I'm going to be using. Here I have my peppers, two red bell pepper, sweet pepper, and medium size of onion. I'm going to blend that later. So here, here is my salt and seasoning cube to taste. And what is vegetable soup without low-cost beans? Without dawa dawa, ogiri okbe, iru, just call it anything, everything. We have we are adding low-cost beans. There's no vegetable soup without iru. So these are all my ingredients, guys. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is blending my pepper. This is me adding the pepper into my blender. And to that, I will blend it. I'm not going to blend it very smooth. Just blend, blend to normal paste. So after that, I'm placing my pot on the stove. And meanwhile, I have here my meat. I've been cooking my meat in another pot right here. So to this pot, I'll be adding my palm oil. I will add that and I will let it eat up for a few seconds. And then I'll be adding my chop onion i like to fry my onion first before adding the low-cost beans so just turn it and fry it for a few seconds then adding my uh, low-cost beans i added the low-cost beans i will stir it together and let them fry together for two minutes just two minutes so after that i'll be adding my blended pepper the pepper that i blend earlier here is me adding the pepper I had that stir, stir, stir it together. It's called a forido. So everything you stir, you had everything you stir, you had anything you stir, mix together. Let all of them combine. So at this stage, I am sorry, guys. I already I had my salt and seasoning cube behind the camera. I'm very sorry for that. I'm really sorry. Please do forgive me. So I let it cook for ten minutes. So after ten minutes, I came back to check on it, and it's doing beautifully well. So I had my meat. Here is me adding the meat, my already cooked meat. I had that as there, and at this same time, I'm going to be adding my fish, also my smoked mackerel that I showed to you guys earlier. Who had that? And here is me adding the fish, already clean and the bone, very clean and the bone. I will add that, stir it together, then I'll cover it, let them cook, combine together for additional five minutes so after five minutes we'll come back and check on it so i just cover it and after five minutes here i am i check on it there and it's doing very well at this stage so i'll add my crayfish had the crayfish mix it together I mix it together and at this point we are almost done so 
after this i'm going to be adding my frozen spinach so here is me testing for salt if the salt is okay and it's very well at this stage so i'm adding my frozen frozen spinach at this stage and after this we are done because we are not we are not going to cook the vegetable too much you don't want to lose the color the green color of the vegetable i just had that stay together make sure everything combined together you are you're going to be stirring it very well at this stage because you want your vegetable to mix together with all the sauce everything so that's it guys that's all i do that's how i cooked my vegetable soup i hope you guys like this video enjoy watching it thank you so much thank you for you my old subscriber thank you for turning in to the into today's video bye bye i will see you in my next video